Well, the UAE economy is a developing economy. Um, it's a country that is still developing. We have a lot of infrastructure projects. We have a lot of uh, residential expansion, uh, residential project expansion. Uh, we have a lot of industry uh, expansion. All this uh, economy expansion requires electricity, and this electricity uh, needs some source. And this is where nuclear plays a major role in that. An energy working uh, group um, studied the uh, electricity projection demand here in the UAE. Um, the result was a uh, tremendous increase projection. Um, in 2007, uh, the, the projection was by 2020, we expected threefold, so three times increase, with an annual average of 9% or so. Um, as a result, the, that energy working group was tasked to look for options to meet the future demand. As we looked at through, looked through different technologies, hydrocarbons, although were technically feasible, um, it was uh, the, the conclusion from the commercial and the environmental studies was not very favorable. Um, and also we looked at renewables, uh, which the UAE, as you may know, um, aggressively pursuing. Uh, it can only meet small uh, portion of the demand of the future. And that's where nuclear power uh, came as an option that is valuable to the UAE future energy mix that competes uh, both on commercial and environmental aspects. When the UAE started its uh, first construction of a nuclear power plant here, we were the first in 27 years to actually start a new program. Um, this itself was quite an achievement, um, but then progressing from that point to what we have today, four plants under construction, on time, uh, being delivered here in the UAE, uh, that definitely makes a good story for many countries that are interested in nuclear power. The IA support has been very crucial uh, from day one, um, in particular in, in the area of nuclear infrastructure required for the nuclear power program, um, in the area of review services, in the area of technical support, um, so the IEA uh, support for the UAE program has been very crucial and valuable and uh, I think our partnership with the IEA um, has been very positive in UAE ability to meet such progress in such a short time. Our partnership with the IAEA, uh, you can categorize it in three categories. Uh, one is where we receive guidance and support from the IAEA. Uh, secondly, we work with the IAEA in meeting our international obligations, and that comes to the safeguards uh, obligations, the security obligations, safety obligations, and so on. The last category is where we provide feedback to the IAEA that allows it allows it to uh, assist and support other member states based on the UAE experience in implementing their guidance.